Time for these, y'all. Let's take part 26. Mortar cylinders and re-key them, master key, key different. That means I have to code cut. There's 24 or five, I got 30 total cylinders, so we have to take them all apart, re-key them, code cut two keys each, and it's six pin. And one of the worst things about doing this is these all come five pin keys. So we always have a crap load of five pin sergeant or rust one or whatever they're totally useless uh, pretty much totally useless anyway because with a master key system you kind of got to go you can't just go random random like that you kind of got to have the right keys to make it easy especially when you have a ln master key that's been copied 53,000 times and uh, we came up to that key, and of course there's no such thing as a LN keyway, that's the master, it fits LA through LN, M, N, O, P, Q, whatever. <sighs> anyway, long story short, let's get to taking cylinders apart. Oh, I'm gonna use my drill for this one, everybody's gonna get tickled because I'm not using a hand screwdriver. Too many cylinders. All right, somewhere in here I have a number one bit and I need to find it. Is that it? Nope, that's not it. That's three. No, is that it? Is that it? No, that's a number two. Dang it. I don't have a number one bit in here, y'all. Oh, wait. I think that's a number two. Ah. Well, we. We have plenty of number two bits, y'all. I guess that's, oh wait, there's one, there's one. Is that it? Nope, that's square, shoot. And uh, I think I wanna go with, uh, with this bad boy. Never mind. I found one and uh, it's an extended one. Hey, so I don't need to go with this. Maybe I could. Backs up this wobbly. Okay. Hey, how are you? Would you like the red pill or the blue pill? Okay, so we need to de determine our bidding two ways on this uh, master key. Why am I not recording? Am I not recording? Hello? We're going to determine the master key bidding two ways. First, we're going to check it with the sergeant key checker thing. I actually love the sergeant key checker thing um, and then I'm going to key up a original sergeant core I'm actually going to use uh, probably five of these kind of made fun of this was our locks that we lost some of them are beat up but some of them are in pretty good condition and I'm actually going to use four of these but I'm going to check the master key bidding after I clean them up but I'm going to check the master key bidding by keying up an original sergeant core Always a good idea to keep an original core around so that you can key stuff up. Even though these are pretty usually dead on, never have really problems with these. Um, it's always best to check your specs against original hardware. So uh, I'm gonna take this one off too. Let's take this one off too. Okay. Oh shit. All right, y'all. That is uh, that is we're gonna we're gonna pause today because I gotta go. It's like 6:40. Uh, so yes, <sighs> got a few done. Got some others over there waiting to be rekeyed and got keys being cut. So, we.
Alrighty, y'all, I got them all rekeyed, hands all messed up, and I uh, got the cams in. These are, uh, hello, they look up there. These are uh, Yale cams, unfortunately, the standard cams that come with these were not the right ones. For Yale mortise locks. So, I uh, bought 40, I'm going to use 30 and keep 10. Good to have spares. Always the best time when you're ordering stuff. If you need uh, two for something, get three. If it's small stuff like this, if you need 10, get 20. Uh, and that hopefully, is, assuming you can find it down the road uh, <laughs> that's the best way to make sure you have parts um, because say like I said if you have like uh, if you sell two lever handles where my lever handles go oh I moved them over there if you sell two lever handles like I've got I carry two of one kind in the truck and then I've got several here um, but I knew I had a job coming up Monday, so I just went ahead and ordered two more. And I will, uh, the ones in my truck I actually just put in there. So I don't, that, I don't wanna be left with none lever handles because of course there's always emergencies. Um, and I don't wanna have to go back to a job, so I try to keep at least two of the clutch I keep a bunch in the truck, but two of the clutch entry. Um, that reminds me, I gotta get more classroom function because I used it the other day. But again, if you sell, if you have to order, you know, two of something, if it's expensive, maybe get three. Just make sure your markup covers it and then down the road if somebody needs something you will have it on hand good rule of thumb and uh, yay 30 so what I'm gonna do is uh, probably undo this because this is magnetic so what I want to do is come in here and just Get them in, get them started. And then I'll pick them up. Ratchet, uh oh, that one's upside down. Ratchet down the, uh, ooh. Ratchet down the, uh, what you call it, the clutch on the drill so that it doesn't strip them out and tighten them down with the drill right till it hits and then come back through and hand tighten them and hopefully it'll save me a little bit of rest because it is what time is it 6 15 on a friday these are going home with me this is for a customer that is kind of a customer slash friend that kim goes and hangs out with sometimes so uh, she is going to drop them off with her this weekend so they can go put them on the doors bright and early Monday morning. So we are about to go ahead. Now that I'm done talking, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all this. Ah, here we go. A quick rekey, a quick rekey, a master key. Quick is not really the term for it. Oh, um, and uh, I do have a few, a few spares that I gotta put up. So I'm gonna go hang those up as part of another video. 
Uh, anyway, see you guys tomorrow or the next day or whenever I see you next. Thanks for watching.